want to share some information that I've accumulated over the last few years about uh, self-balancing a uh, structure or or a vehicle with uh, using a, gyro a mechanical gyroscope. Um, this is just a toy gyroscope uh, that I've removed the protective steel uh, ring that goes around the rotor and also I've uh, epoxied some uh, little steel studs uh, to serve as axles uh, into some holes that I drilled in the uh, gyroscope frame and uh, normally the gyroscope uh, just balances when the rotor is spinning it balances on the end of this axis and uh, it'll precess in a circle uh, instead of falling over uh, it precesses in a circle and uh, uh, if you try to just take a gyroscope and attach it to a two-wheeled vehicle like a bicycle um, it will not balance the bicycle it will just fall over and um, so what you have to do is you have to put it into this configuration uh, create a gimbal uh, for this to roll uh, around that axis and uh, then it will control the balance of the entire vehicle uh, this way. And uh, there are two ways to balance uh, a vehicle using a gyroscope. There are two ways to configure the gyroscope. One is using free precession, and that's what this is, is just using gravity to uh, keep it under uh, control and balance. And the other is uh, force precession, where you attach a computer-controlled uh, servo to the gimbal and you force it, uh, the, force the gyro uh, this way or that way and then that, that forces the entire structure to go this way or that way. And so uh, when you turn the gyro this direction it, it's going to lean this way or the other way depending on which way the rotor is turning and if you turn it this way it leans this way. So you can control the balance by uh, which way this, the gyroscope itself is rolling. This one is a little model that I made based on a, a university uh, photograph I saw of theirs and uh, there wasn't too much information um, and they said that theirs would balance for a couple of seconds and I believe that is the reason, or the reason that theirs only works for a couple of seconds is because their entire frame is built out of metal, so it's very heavy. Uh, I made this one out of uh, fiberglass or uh, um, carbon fiber fishing pole sections, so it is very light. It takes less energy to balance the entire structure, so this one will balance on average for 10 seconds or so. You could make it actually last longer, balance longer. This one is built crooked. Uh, you can see here that it's leaning a little bit in one direction. And it's also, the entire structure is out of balance. And so you can fine tune this by adding either weight to this side or this side so that the rotor uh, will equally uh, go one direction and then the other direction. If you notice in the video, it, it's, it, it's more in one direction than it is in the other and that means the entire structure is out of balance. Um, also if you use a gyroscope that has a larger rotor, uh, more mass, um, it will tend to balance, it will balance longer. Another point about this, this uh, gyroscope for self-balancing using free possession, uh, precession, um, you need a, the, the gyroscope needs to be top heavy in other words, heavier on this side of the rotor or of the, of the gimbal axis than on this on the bottom side. So by adding a, a weight to the top and making the top heavy, what happens is um, as the gyroscope is spinning, uh, if it starts falling over, the rotor uh, starts turning and gravity pulls down on this weight and because it does that, then it forces the entire structure back to the other direction and that forces the, uh, the gyroscope to be centered again. 
So you have this self-correcting mechanism just simply because uh, there's more weight on top of the rotor than on the bottom. Uh, a very interesting uh, idea and I uh, can't seem to find any information about who, who developed, uh, uh, who developed uh, that idea or even who developed this model. And uh, if anybody knows any information, uh, I would appreciate it if you'd leave it in the comments about where this model was derived from and uh, who, who developed the idea of using a, a gyroscope for self-balancing. Um, I know there's plenty of documentation out there about the early vehicles that use self-balancing, but where this idea originally came from, uh, I can't seem to find any. Uh, any records on that. And later, in the and later in the video uh, I show uh, how to basically how to build this this little framework and also I, I went on and um, used the same concept to build a self-balancing uh, structure on two wheels uh, in a couple of ways. One is by using the free possession without any other uh, control mechanism. Another way is you can use a counterweight attached to this framework and, and a computer and a sensor uh, showing if this is level or not. And if it is not level, then you can swing the counterweight and force it back into a balanced uh, position. And I also use that uh, on a, a two-wheel vehicle, a little toy model um, that uh, was actually able to balance and to have forward motion. Um, uh, most uh, vehicles in, in history uh, that use this mechanism, uh, monorail trains and some cars, cars that were constructed in the early 1900s uh, use uh, a single rotor but the problem with a single rotor is on a vehicle if you're driving along and you make a turn in one direction it's fine but if you make a turn in the other direction it falls over so uh, they took care of that particular situation by using two rotors two gyroscopes counter rotating against each other and uh, it kept it perfectly in balance Here you see I have the uh, gyroscope inserted into the the balancing frame and uh, as you can see here it's a little bottom heavy so let's just try it and see if it how it balances be a little bottom heavy it balances for just a second and then once it starts going over falling over it it won't recover but it is trying to balance so I'm going to add a little weight to the to the top and I'm using this uh, my smiley face paper clip and now you can see it balances pretty much still a little tail heavy or a little bottom heavy Let's see if it's any better a little bit better but still, once it starts falling over, it doesn't want to recover. Alright, so I'm going to add a little more weight using this Neo uh, magnet. And here it is obviously top heavy.
now when it falls over, it corrects itself. Let's see if we can get a little bit better pull on this. As long as we're, uh, as long as the rotor is spinning, there's enough uh, momentum. Uh, it will precess, but it will correct itself and stay balanced. Once we lose the momentum, then it, then it can't balance anymore. So, we'll add a little more weight with this magnet. So, so we'll add a little more weight with a magnet <coughs> and a paper clip. You can see that that is obviously had a really good run in there. There we go. Yes. Alright, ready? Yes. 